Hello everyone. So today we're gonna go through a workplace app from Facebook. So it's basically Facebook for companies or B2B version of Facebook. So let's just go through how to create an account. So you need to sign up with your work email. So not your personal Gmail email or iCloud just with your work email because this app is designed to organize teams in companies so it's like facebook for b2b business to business uh, you can think of this app as a combination of slack notion and zoom or atlassian so this is like facebook try to go into b2b SaaS like subscription services for yeah for companies yeah, I'm just still trying here to, to get this verification code, so bear with me here. And today we're just gonna go inside the app, just see how it looks like. Maybe you can just decide if you really want this app for your company or no. Uh, like, should you use this or should you use Notion and Slack? I didn't use it. Uh, use this before really but like I just had like a first glimpse um, yep sorry so this is it just takes some time I don't know why okay finally I think it's there so here it is so now um, now you just need to sign in uh, sign up with your full name with your password um just enter your password then you can just create your workplace just uh, uh, give your organization name your organization size uh, then you can just create your workplace enter these check boxes so what you're gonna do and it just takes some time and yeah, you are entering in some free trial mode. So I didn't add my credit debit card as you can see at this point. So that's, yeah. Um, and then, yeah, so that's your front page. Uh, it's called, yeah, uh, this is the front page you just created. It looks like Facebook really, but just there is like a little sidebar on the left where you have your home feed news feed you have your groups which are basically like slack channels you can create a new group you can add new members you can select um, privacy is it open or closed you can add members here um, additional settings and then you can just create group Yeah, and then you can just select your groups. So yeah, basically this is like, I don't know, this is like a chat in combination with Notion. Oh, okay, I'm not, I posting, I'm posting not there, sorry. Uh, yep, if I want to post in the group, I have, yeah, it's the run. I'm just going to, to the group and then I'm just creating like a Facebook post here. Uh, similar as on Facebook, but this post will be shared with my specific team or in general channel. Uh, and then I just can add video, images, like GIFs, and then I just have all these polls, uh, everything. I can tag people here, um, so yeah, I can notify specific people in that post. So yeah, that's basically that. Uh, and then I just create that post and yeah, people are just notified in, in the channel. So yeah, this is like, imagine this is your company, you have like 500 employees and all your people in general channel are notified by that. So it's pretty similar to Slack as I think in my experience. And then, yeah, you can of course attach some images so instead of like posting some company information in some Facebook group or something, you just have this workplace for a company. 
then there are different settings here uh, you can see more there is like knowledge library so for example imagine there is some new employee coming to your company and then you just need to create some documentation about like how to get started like how to get keys to the office all of that and then you just create it in knowledge library so it's like internal documentation for your company some startups or companies are doing that in Atlassian, some are doing that in Notion Docs, but here you can just do it in knowledge libraries and you have over your groups. Then there's like employee directory, events, you can have your bookmarks. Um, you can, yeah, you can see the co-workers and then just follow them on Facebook. And then there is org chart or organizational chart for your company here as well. So like all the basic functions you need in the company or yeah. And then to add people, you just add them by clicking the big green button in the bottom of the sidebar. So that's basically the idea. That's yeah. And that's just a quick overview of this workplace app. And then you can just go to the chat tab and then chat with everyone. And then there are also these uh, different categories in each group, which you can filter. Then here are some additional settings. There are some analytics, insights, campaigns, which surveys, badges, uh, all of that. So it's pretty advanced tool. It's not some basic tool from Facebook. Yeah, you can see a lot of work here and it's super useful. Then there are all these plans. So core plan, I'm on a free trial when you sign up and then it's actually not that expensive. It's like four dollars per member per per month, so it's not like some crazy amount. And then there are some like uh, add-ons you can have enhanced admin. Uh, then you can have some enterprise plans. Um, yeah, so all of that, and then you can just buy, so you can see how you can purchase that. So that's basically that. Um, yes, you can see I'm on a core plan for just four bucks. It's not much at all for this kind of tool. And then, yeah, but of course I will up upsell you and you will add more and more modules and it won't be that cheap, I think, in the future. Um, so that's your personal sidebar. You can set your status. You can set do not disturb, similar as on Slack. Then you can go to general settings here, some general settings, adding your pronouns, changing your name, security and login. Uh, you can see all of that, how, how it works. Profile and tagging. Yeah, so that's basically that. Uh, that's the app, just a quick preview of the UI, like how it works, how it feels. Basically, it's like combination of Slack and Notion, as for me. And of course, you can do video calls and audio calls, so it's also Zoom. So you can use all of these tools or you can just try Workplace from Facebook and let's see what happens. So hope it was helpful.